Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Gun, and today I'm going to be talking about the Airburst Rocket Launcher. I would like to first say though, the Airburst Rocket Launcher isn't out yet. You can only use it temporarily, so it's not the full patch. We actually got on Discord, Spitz, the, one of the community managers for Haldevers, says that the major build update next week is going to push out the intended final version of the Airburst Launcher and Mines, or rather push out a bunch of fixes for some issues with both of them. So the version you're using right now doesn't have those fixes attached. It wasn't guaranteed whether the community would get access to the two stratagems before the next patch. So the current version in the game is in a playable state but likely to perform differently after we move into the next patch. I'm also not sure if the fixes for these stratagems are in the initial build release or the first hotfix, but both are scheduled for next week. So with that being said, a lot of people have been complaining about it. <laughs> and they've been saying it's been underperforming they don't like it and everybody's trying to push for the other planet so we could actually get the anti-tank mines okay guys so why does everybody say the airburst is trash they don't like it it is terrible well the first thing i want to say is team killing this is the best S tier, top tier weapon for team killing. If you love team killing, then this weapon's for you. I feel like this should be a whole infomercial bit right here. Introducing the Airburst Rocket Launcher. Are you sick of all those pesky enemies getting in the way of your rockets? Well, fear not. With the Airburst Rocket Launcher, missing your mark has never been easier. Say goodbye to accuracy and hello to chaos. This revolutionary weapon lets you watch as your rockets gracefully explode harmlessly in mid-air, showering the battle with dazzling display of incompetence. But wait, there's more. Not only does the Airburst rocket launcher offer unparalleled ineffectiveness against enemies, but it also doubles as a perfect tool for team killing. <laughs> Simply aim in the general direction of your allies and watch as they scatter in panic, wondering who let you near the rocket launcher in the first place. So if you're ready to take your gaming experience from mildly frustrating to downright infuriating, look no further than the Airburst rocket launcher. Because why be good when you can be gloriously bad? Engaging in team killing or any form of trolling is not only against gaming etiquette, but also violates the terms of service of most gaming platforms. Always using game weapons responsibly consider the enjoyment of all players involved. Remember, it's all fun games until someone ruins it for everyone else. And one of the best representations for the Airburst rocket launcher, I actually saw it on Reddit, is from Rain in Soho. <laughs> it's actually this fucking Microsoft Paint. <laughs> this best describes it. It's literally how it is right now. I really hope they actually reduce the, the damage that you take. And I understand they'll probably uh, be like, well, just use the armor that, that has explosive reduction, but not everybody wants to run that, right? I feel like it would be better if it had a certain distance where the clusters that would actually detonate because right now it's just this thing will just kill you if you don't aim like at least four feet above you and a little like you can't shoot a direct impacted enemy like at 10 to 15 feet away otherwise the clusters will bounce back at you in all honesty i really feel like this weapon will excel against aerial enemies and i have a feeling there is going to be more uh, terminids that are flying enemies that like there was this one leak that I seen kind of looks like a terminid dragon It could potentially be a raid since they have been talking about Making the parties bigger to six players instead of four But the airburst rocket launcher will be extremely useful against that thing when it does release And at that point, I really hope they have a donkey stratagem so we could call that in for the dragon Dragon slayer I want to do a full video breakdown for this thing but the only issue is it's it's also a it has a backpack with it so you'll have a couple of of rockets on there limited and slow reloading it is amazing for team killing as you just seen the video they also need to fix the detonation zone anytime it's in close proximity of an enemy it'll just activate and you're dead like you don't have a choice so when they fix that this will definitely be Probably an A tier to S tier, depending on how good it will eventually be against uh, heavy armored enemies. 
I want to use this a lot against tanks and the automaton towers. Well, anything with events pretty much. And it seems like the air burst should be good against that, right? But considering the clusters explode behind the enemies, it could damage it. But it's just a little weird right now. I really hope they tweak it. The air burst would definitely be a top pick for me. Okay, guys, I'm just going to go over the pros since I've been shitting on this thing. <laughs> so for aerial denial, this thing is phenomenal. It works so good against the airships. You just have to aim it correctly. I know in my footage that I showed, I was not aiming right, and I think it just detonated at the wrong time. So when it's fixed, like I said, it'll probably be dropping airships left and right. Against Terminids, this stratagem will without a doubt excel, considering all the enemies that are constantly grouping up together and trying to jump on you. Being able to have really good crowd control is a plus without a doubt. And against the Illuminite or Illuminate, however you pronounce it, it will be amazing because they do like to, they have high mobility, they like to get behind you, they move around fast, and I understand they're not out on Helldivers 2, I'm going based off of Helldivers 1, I understand. I know they'll make them very mobile, so if you just shoot one rocket, the clusters will definitely kill a lot of the ones that are invisible or trying to sneak up on you. The only issue, like I said, is the damn blast damage that you'll receive, so <sighs> I hope they fix it, guys. I really hope they do, and I understand. Use the armor. But yeah. So what do you guys think about the Airburst rocket launcher? Let me know in the comments below. I understand this is a short video, but I promise I will have more coming out. I haven't really been uploading any videos lately just because I've had the NBA playoffs, I had the NFL draft, and then I've been playing uh, new games as well and I'm just getting a little distracted. So my apologies for that. I will consistently make more uh, Helldiver videos. I really do love this game. I, it's just been a little dry for me lately. Uh, I really want, I really can't wait till they drop the vehicles so we could actually use them. I have a feeling when they drop that and they drop the Illuminate or Illuminite, I don't know what, how to pronounce it because somebody fucking pointed me out and I was like, yeah, I don't know how to say it. But <laughs> whenever they come out, it's going to be really fun. I can't wait to cover all that. But yeah, guys, stay tuned. I am going to do a in-depth video on the Airburst grenade launcher so if you guys want to see that stay tuned i will as well do one on the anti-tank mines because that, those things look so fucking diabolical i can't wait to use them i can't wait <sighs> but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed please comment like and subscribe and peace out my guys all we use in game experience responsibilities and consider the enjoyment of players <sighs> all we use in <clears throat> always using game Always use in game. What the fuck? <laughs> Always using game weapons. It's responsibility and consider the enjoyment of. Oh my god. Always using. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is this? Always use game. <laughs> Ain't no way. Okay. <laughs>